Okay, so I'm converting my um, Nitro XTM Baja blade to electric. So um, what I did was I removed the the engine, the gas tank, the receiver battery, which hooked up to there, and the throttle slash brake servo. So basically, uh, I removed all that stuff. The engine used to be here, gas tank used to be there, throttle slash brake servo used to be there and the battery pack used to be held in here and so basically I've I've, I've just got started basically converting it and uh, this is basically the setup I'm going for uh, the where the old receiver battery pack was I'm gonna zip tie the ESC there or screw it because there are little metal uh, there, there's like a metal upper chassis so I'll, I might screw it into that or latch it down or something like that but I might just keep the zip ties, and that's going to be the XL5 one, probably waterproof, because that's like the most common one out there. Then uh, I found like a motor mount, sort of a motor mount, because there used to be, oh, let me get some light, there used to be a bar running from here to there, okay, that would protect the gears on the top and keep these from separating and keep them together. So I removed that to polish it up a little bit because it was really dirty, just like I did with all these down there. Okay, and then uh, I found out that there's a little opening there, you know, where, where the screw went, in, so that I can take out that metal bar. So uh, I went and I uh, got my screws for the 550, and it fit perfectly in there. And the screw was long enough to go into the motor, so that's basically like a motor mount now. Now what I'm gonna do is uh, take some sheet metal okay get this broken you can see take some sheet metal screw it in down there bring it around so that I can mount it to the other motor screw here so it's not just on one and if I need adjusting I can always drill another hole through the sheet metal because it'll be coming all the way around there'll be like opening for this to go through and just drill another hole and screw this in too. If I'm changing like the size of the gear. And if I need adjusting, as you can see, there's a whole size variety. And there's a little plastic piece down here, which I don't know if you can see it, but it's keeping the motor from going down. And I'm just gonna, what do you call it? Shave that off so then this can come down all the way to here, go all the way up for like a, a big tooth gear. And yeah, and then I'm going to get uh, a custom 6-cell brick pack made from CheapBatteryPacks.com. So it's going to be 1-cell, one 1-cell, one 1-cell, one and then 1-cell, one 1-cell, one 1-cell. One Total of 6 right here. And then I got these, uh, what do you call it, straps, Velcro straps, and th that can strap in the batteries from there to there. So that's basically my little conversion. I didn't think it was going to be that simple, but it ended up becoming pretty simple. So yeah, that's basically what I'm going to do, and hopefully you can watch all my videos of converting this thing to electric, and if you can, please subscribe, and if you don't like any of the videos we upload in your subscriptions box, you can just exit them out. That's about it, so thank you for watching, and I appreciate you watching. Okay, thanks, and have a good day.